everybody, this is John Phillips with John Phillips Plumbing Service. I'm, uh, it's Thursday, I believe the 30th of, uh, June, Thursday, and, uh, this is my first video in probably two and a half weeks or so, two or three weeks, and, uh, just took some time off, man. It's hot as shit down here, and, uh, it's getting tougher for me to work in this fucking heat, to be honest with you. 105 to 110 degree heat index. A little fucking hard for me. And I don't recover like I used to. Not that I ever recovered well, but man. I feel like I got my ass beat by Mike Tyson. Uh, so anyways, I took some time off took care of other things and uh but I'm back in the saddle again and uh I'm heading over to do a stoppage mainline stoppage it sounds like on Siesta Key uh Sarasota beautiful barrier island and uh hopefully it'll go well but yeah by the time you get to one two o'clock down here it's just too hot to work man I mean just even if you're inside a house uh, running back and forth uh, to the truck you work up a, a massive sweat I mean you're soaking wet and you don't you lose all your nutrients man all your electrolytes all that shit man so you really got to take care of yourself um, but we're back at it, and uh, we'll try to get some shots when I get there. Uh, I just did another service call, a little leak. A guy put his own dishwasher hose in, and it was leaking, so I went and tightened that up. But it took me like five minutes, so it wasn't a whole lot. Uh, anyways, um, we'll see when I get there. But... Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good day, man. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Midnight Pass Road. that the beach isn't full you know but it's so damn hot nobody even wants to go to the goddamn beach see that parasailer up there out in the sky this fucking jamoke just walks out in front of the fucking cars Hey, how you doing? Fucking Jersey. Yeah, you from Jersey? I'm from fucking Jersey. Fucking Goomba. Alright, so I didn't get any footage of this job because it's hotter than hell. But I'll tell you what I did. I went in and the toilet was stopped up. And you know you always got to size up the customer and the guy was pretty fucking huge about three four hundred pounds so I told him while I'm trying to clear this stoppage I'm gonna need to collect a stool sample from him uh, and he thought I was serious 
and he was going to do that, which I'm glad I told him I was kidding. Sometimes I forget to do that. Um, but so, anyways, I go up on the I, first thing I did was flush the toilet. The toilet filled up, didn't go down. So I ran the closet auger through to make sure that this guy wasn't just stopping up the toilet. So I did that, and the toilet was not stopped up. It was down in the in the trunk line. So I ran the lavatory and I ran it until the toilet started bubbling and that was telling me that the the stoppage was south of that branch line uh, where the lavatory ties in and uh, so I had to go up on the roof for this stoppage and um, oh Jesus so <laughs> So I went up on the roof and ran the cable through and uh, I'm sitting on a street that's very skinny. Anyways, I ran the cable through. I think I ran 45 or 60 feet and I, I could tell that, you know, when I dropped the cable in, I could tell that it was hitting water, splashing in the, in the stack. So I ran it out and I could tell by the time I stopped. Uh, you know that there was no water in that stack anymore I knew I had gotten the stoppage uh, and I went inside and I could see that the toilet had drained and it actually siphons out when that happens uh, so I got the stoppage I pulled told the guy that you know I'm gonna pull the cable out and see if there's any hand sandy wipes or anything on it uh, I think there was some people renting the place before they got here that may have been abusing the system but anyways it's cleared now but it's funny because these guys are from uh from new york long island and i told the guy i said you know it's uh 250 for the for the stoppage and uh i said with the uh gas surcharge and the uh economic impact charge it's going to be 850 and he said, "Will you will you take 825 cash?" And you know, I'm just joking with the guy. I was like, "Dude, I'm kidding with you." But I guess that's how much they might pay for that shit up in New York. In New York, he from New York. Anyways, uh, yeah. So I I did it for my normal cost, and. Uh, you know I'm not here to rip people off man at all you know I was happy I could help them it was an easy stoppage low roof no no complications and uh, I'm down the road but you can see I'm sweating my ass off and uh, yeah it's summertime in Sarasota so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll post this my first video in a long time and I'll try to stop posting things again every day for those of you who missed me I'm not sure there are many of you out there but I I do have 42 subscribers now which I I don't know if that's good or bad I mean I haven't hit the the gone viral jackpot yet but uh I enjoy doing this and uh we'll continue on hopefully I I explained some things if you're still tuned in I hope you could follow me on on how I uh, troubleshot this sewer stoppage. You know, you could waste a lot of time, man. You know, you go in there with a small cable because you think the shower's stopped up. Or you use a closet auger and the whole house is stopped up. So, it's just a matter of uh, really understanding what's under the ground. Uh, these are all slab houses, so you can't just go down in the basement and look at it. Um, so... Anyways, it all worked out, and I'm happy to be back uh, out working. And it's uh, 12 o'clock, so I need to get back home. My day's over, guys. Have a great day.